Hi, I'm Nick Underkircher, Manager of Digital Learning Strategy and Design here at AORN. Over the course of the next few minutes, I will walk you through one of the newly redesigned P101 modules, showcasing the functionality and key features. Additionally, I will highlight the increased interactivity and engaging elements. Let's review the course navigation. On the left, there are two tabs, Menu and Resources. First, the Menu tab lists the topics covered within the module. Users can expand or collapse chapters and access individual slide content by clicking directly on the slide title. Second, the Resources tab contains additional course materials, including printable handouts or URL links. The Bibliography, Glossary, Guideline Essential Documents, PNDS Statements, Skills Lab Checklist, and the Study Guide are all located and be found under the Resources tab. Along the top, users will find an Acronyms tab, which contains the list of alphabetical acronyms used throughout the module. Technical Specs outlines the technical requirements necessary to access the course and maintain module connectivity. Additional user controls are located along the bottom, including volume and course navigation. Let's take a deeper dive into the module content. Every module is set up in a similar fashion, beginning with the welcome chapter, moving on to a sequence of evidence-based content. Lastly, the module post-test. The welcome chapter contains critical information that sets the learner up for learning success, including icons, module outcome and objective statements, correlating PNDS information, QSIN information, lastly, the module chapter slide. This particular module, Hemostasis Management, contains five chapters worth of evidence-based content followed by the module post-test. Let's take a deeper dive into the increased interactivity and engaging elements. Individual chapters are also set up in a similar fashion, beginning with an introduction slide and book ended by a chapter summary slide. The chapter summary slides are unique in that they may be utilized by the user to access to review critical content, reinforce learning and increase retention, or used as a review strategy in preparation for module post-test or the final exam. This particular slide contains an animated motion graphic. Users may view the information by selecting the play button. Users can pause the content by selecting the pause button. Additionally, users have the freedom to scrub through the content in case they miss any critical elements. Reset the slide by selecting the reset button. From here, users may use the navigation controls or access the left-handed side menu. Additional interactions include hoverable hotspots, content pop-ups. To review the original slide content, simply select the exit button. Learners may go at their own pace interfacing and exploring the slide content. Again, to access the original slide content, select the exit button. You will notice on this slide that the slide resumes where the learner left off. It keeps track of the learner progression so learners do not miss any critical information. This particular slide contains a Did You Know? Did You Knows are unique in that the nurse educators here at AORN identified critical key elements related to that particular topic and have highlighted them in the Did You Know pop-ups. Let's jump ahead to chapter four. Chapter four discusses preventing retained surgical items. On this particular slide, users can find the guideline essentials document recognized by the printer icon. Simply select the printer icon to view the printable handout. Interactive and engaging knowledge checks are peppered throughout the module. Learners have two attempts to prove their mastery and understanding of the content. 
Once the user, user is satisfied in the placement of their answer, users then select Submit. On the second attempt, if the user answers incorrectly, users will then be prompted to select Continue, and users are provided a visual reinforcement. There are several microlearning videos peppered throughout the modules recognized by the media icon. To view the microlearning content, simply select the media icon. You will then be navigated to a video content slide. Select play. Microlearning videos last in a duration of anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds and are part of our larger Cinemed library. For full access of the Cinemed library, contact your account representative. This particular pop-up, What's in Your World, humanizes the learning content, which engages the learners to go be more interactive and proactive within their facility, interfacing with additional team members. This particular pop-up asks the user to access and read the policy and procedure for surgical counts in their particular facility. Locate the count sheets. Are they paper or electronic form? Once the learner navigates through the entire module content, they arrive at the module post-test. In order to per perform proficiently, users must pass the module post-test with the minimum score of 80% in order to complete the module. Learners can retake the post-test as many times as necessary to pass. We advise learners to review their notes or review the module content before any additional attempts. Thank you for watching. We look forward to educating the next generation of perioperative nurses to keep patients and workplace safety as a number one priority. Contact Experience Services or your account representative if you have additional questions.